So we got Green DK, the young Broccoli Kong, coming out against Panagami Esam. Oh, okay. Big damage. Panagami is the very own Esam. Let's we'll see how this is going to uh, work out for oh, him. Broccoli slap. Kong, yeah, getting the hot slaps in there, but uh, I will, that move is weird because, like, <laughs> it's good. Like, I feel like you get punished for it anyway. Yeah. Nice. Oh, wow. That was good coverage. Yeah, he had to clear the air right there. And this is why I feel like this matchup will be kind of hard for uh, for Will, is because Pikachu just can, can kind of use that quick attack, that up B with Reckless Abandon, and pop up DK. But, oh, he gets the pivot grab. Yeah, how reckless. That was disrespectful. How reckless, though. He said, where are you going? You're not, you're not fast enough to escape these hands, though. <laughs> oh, another pivot grab. Oh, and I was going to say, that is a kill confirmed from what I've heard. I actually haven't seen it in effect just because there's so few DKs. But apparently in the patch, that is a kill confirmed now. I, I think he has too much rage for it right now. Okay. Yeah, because like he, he threw him pretty high. Okay, DK will. Oh, here we go. I think he tried to get him on a DI mix up. Yeah. Oh, and there. So he didn't land with the backer because he knew that was going to be too obvious. The Pikachu up smash barely killing. I mean, barely. I'm pretty, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was the up smash. Yeah, I don't think the Thunder had anything to do with that. But yeah, just, just barely carrying that man off. It's like uh, like when you're trying to break, like so you avoid Whoa. an accident and you just kind of love tap the card. That's what he did with the uh, blast zone. Shout out to the blast zone, by the way. Every uh, every Monday, eight every Monday, <laughs> eight o'clock on Twitch.tv slash GonyZZ. Come through. That's a good plug. <laughs> every time I say blast zone, it's like yeah, yeah, eight o'clock every Monday. <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> all right, fourteen percent difference. But as Will has shown us. Percentage difference doesn't matter that much when you are a giant green beast. Okay, got the Big slap. Damage. Looks for another one. Probably could have did it again because the air dodge to the ground right there. But oh, it's not gonna do too much, but that is a free hit. Yeah, I mean, like I, I the hot slap in the air. Hot slaps in the air. <laughs> the hot beat down, basically. But yeah, no, nah, honestly, that was a better trade for uh, for <laughs> Esam anyway. Oh, wow. Wow. He, he can just not get this ledge. Finally got it right there. Oh, tries to go for the uh, the headbutt, but... Yeah, I think that he right thought Esam was going to shield, but even then, it wouldn't have broken the shield, I don't think. I don't think it breaks it straight up. Yeah, it doesn't break it straight up, but if you still hold it for just a little bit longer after that, like it ends up breaking anyway, so... It's like literally the best shield breaker in the game. A shield breaker that's better than the move shield breaker. Okay, and actually, if you look at this, DK has a D... Oh, no! He tried to use the super armor. On the giant punch, it didn't come out. Oh. He gets the down air, and that's going to do it. PG Esam sneaks that one by. I'm Barely. I'm actually surprised that Super Armor didn't come out. Like, it, it seems so, like the timing was so right, and he just like, nah, man, like, uh, I that, got it. That looked so good. It looked like he predicted that. He knew exactly what Esam was going to do because he was stuck in that charge animation. So he came through with that punch, but the Super Armor, for whatever reason, just didn't happen. That was weird, the super armor thing. That was crazy. So good stuff to Esam for game one on Final Destination. We're going to think about a counter pick. You think we're going to see a change in character? I don't think so, but no. Nah, not yet. I mean, honestly, that wasn't that wasn't nearly as bad as Master Trim, uh as. Uh, it's not even that. It's just like, all right, all these Pikachus are playing Pikachu to play against Sheik, so why would you go and pick Sheik into Pikachu? Yeah. Not that I think it's a bad matchup, but I... I feel like more often than not, they're practicing that anyway. So we'll see how this works out for him. Uh, I, Broccoli Kong almost took it, though. So we'll see. We'll see, man. Yeah, he almost made it happen. Going to Smashville for game two. Not a uh, not a weird counter pick. He decides something a little bit more neutral. Says, all right, I'll just beat you straight up. You know, it's kind of interesting. We haven't seen any wild counter picks yet. Haven't seen, like, any Halberds. Not many Delfinos, just one. Yeah, uh, I think the, the wildest thing I'm seeing actually was just Lilat. That's yeah. not even that wild compared to, you know, compared to. So. Okay, man, putting pressure on him on the platform. Well, he's like, say. where are you trying to go, man? You trying to charge? Nah, none of that. Yeah. Oh, taking these Thunder Jones, so that's going to beat DK's up B. He grabs it, that was very smart. Goes super low. That was kind of scary. Yeah, Ethan is actually just keeping the pressure on this uh, DK man. He's like, all over him. He will not let this man get anything started. Like, that's why what Will's thinking his head. Like, that's you be the Will special man. Just, I, 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 I can't do anything. I can't man. do anything. I, I can't, I what am I supposed anything. to do? <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> but you know what? Will says that 
And then he wins, like, and right after that. Yep. It's like game two. He's just like, I, I just can't do anything. Game three, like, bodies him. Wow, with that spacing on that up B. That was so smart. Oh, he puts out his leg for the back air. Esam jolts him like that with the F smash. That's the first stock. Wow. Wow. He, I, another one of those he'll definitely finish. Yep. Good lord. But he's got to watch out. He, if he has rage, like you said. Oh, my god. He's good. Yeah, but still, that's Yeah, oh, that, that was scary. actually really close. Oh. Oh, here we go. This time? Is that it? Oh, he didn't get the jump. Yeah, he didn't get the jump. So what he's trying to do there is he... Oh, my God. This is actually destruction. Oh, oh but he, but he missed himself. The thunder. Shout outs to Pound 5. Yeah, shout outs to Pound 5, dude. Who slaps him up. Yeah, yeah, off stage, Will is just a sitting duck, man, because his recovery is so linear by design. However, that ST might come back to bite Esam. Wow, and that just hits him off the ledge. Like, he doesn't get the platform yeah, there. Yeah, I definitely think he wanted that platform, but uh, managed to make it to the cover. Oh! Oh! Okay, all right. Not all quite. Right. Yeah, not enough on it yet, but that was a great read from uh, from DK Will. Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. Nothing's going to happen, but it could have. Watch the up smash. Yep, there it is. Back throw. Back, back. That's not going to do it yet. It's not going to do it yet, but almost. Wild. A good attempt. I mean, honestly, if you had the timing right, that would have been dope. This is scary. That timing was way Oh, off, catches him. That's jumping going. back up. To be it. That was almost the comeback of the century right there from uh, from DK Will. Let me clap it up for that. That was a dope set. That was an excellent set between Esam and DK Will. That was game two. It was just the swift 2-0, but it felt like game three. It was a like game three atmosphere. The old 20 in a handshake, man. Not as good as the 30 in the handshake, but uh, <laughs> still up there. <laughs> Leffert got the 50 in the handshake. Uh, no handshake. Never wanna, you know, yeah, you know, you don't get a after you get the 50 in the handshake. That's no handshake. That's just man. You got to stop playing this game, dude. So no. right now we're gonna have Fatality up against the Buzz coming up next. So yep. that's gonna be interesting. I I think uh, has he had to play Rosalina before? Because I I don't did he have to play Smash God? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't. Yeah, I don't remember, but I don't.